everyone, please welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my Hummer H2. It's a year model 2007 and this is Sud. I'm going to change the front brake pad, driver side and the passenger side. And I'm going to share with you how it's easy you can do it yourself. And without wasting any time, let's get started. Prior to jacking up, we crack it open uh, all those uh, lug nuts. Place the wheel choke, dead jack. I have a different tire. So this one has a cover on top of it. This one takes a hack, 732. So once we crack it open. I got a big heavy tire. So now we're going to take it off. The brake pad using a AC Delco and I'll list the part number under my description in case if you need one. And now we're going to open the caliper and the caliper has 18 millimeter hack. We're going to remove these two bolts on the back. One on the top, one at the bottom. So these are big bolts. So this is the top bolt. After removing these 18 millimeter bolt, this is the brake line. This one has 10 millimeter bolt up here on the bracket. We need to remove that. Get a screwdriver and place a screwdriver right here and just pry the caliper off. So now we wiggle around and it will come out. The sensor cable, we unplug it from here. The whole reason I did it so the brake line can move freely and now I can pull the caliper out. Get something underneath so that your caliper can get rested. Brake pads, these are the old one. You just pull it towards you and then you take it out. And uh, it's pretty worn out. And the other side, you pull it out the same way. It has a retainer clips. With the help of screwdriver, you just push it down. It comes out like this. If you're buying a brake pad and has a retainer clips, a new one, then definitely change it. Some companies they sell the brake pads only. They don't sell these. They sell these separate. I have uh, received the new one. So the same way, you just put it on top, then just press it, just like that, and the top one goes on top. These are the new brake pads, and these are the one we took it out, and these are clamps. So if you look at these new brake pads, and compare it to the Look in this one, it's totally gone. The brake lubricant, we're going to put it on the back. Once we took the old brake pads out and they're very worn out, the cylinders are pushed out. Now we need to push the cylinder back in, so we need to use the clamp. In order to press the clamp back, I use my old brake pad, piston went down. And now I'm going to remove it. This is another tip. You need to watch out when you're changing the brake pad. When the brake pads are totally worn out and uh, the light shows up that uh, their brake fluid is less or people try to check and they see that, oh, the reservoir is empty, then they keep filling up. The reservoir already shows the maximum and when you are changing a brake pad, they are totally worn out. And when you're putting a new one, you're going to compress the piston and the brake fluid will come back into the reservoir. So the tip I wanted to share with you, make sure if it's on maximum already and your brake shoes are really bad, you make sure you take it out the fluid. Because once it's gonna come back, it will overflow in your vehicle, it will cause a big mess. So that's the thing and you need to watch out. When we're going to put the clamps, that's the tip I wanted to share with you. If you look at the clamp here, this one is a wider, and this one is a narrow side. The narrow side will come this way and we're going to place it, the clamp, and we're going to press it down. And the, this side will go this way. And now the both clamps are put it in place and now we're going to put the brake pads. When we put the new brake pads, put it on the top, then goes on the bottom at a later, then this is the clamp causing the issue, then you put your skid over, you press it down, then it will slide in. So now our pad is nicely fit in. On the back pad, automatically sits in. The both pads put it on, and now I'm going to put the caliper back in. 
Now I'm going to open the clamp. Put the caliper back. First, uh, place those big bolts in and align it. And I'm going to hand tighten. Once both are tightened, and now I'm going to use the ratchet and I'm going to tighten that. Make sure that you put that 10 millimeter bolt back in. 10 millimeter bolt is tightened so the brake line is securely in place. And this is the sensor. We're going to put that back in. It's done on the driver's side, and I'll put the tire back. As you've seen it, it was very easy to replace the brake pads on the driver's side. And now this is the passenger side. And we're going to do the same process. So these were the old brake pads. We took it out from uh, the driver's side. And these are clamps. These are the new clamps. And these are the new brake pads for this side. These are the tools we're going to need it. And we're going to need the brake lubricant. So make sure that when you remove the caliper, and uh, this is the one we took it out, the bolt, and left something underneath so the caliper can get rested. These were the driver side, and these two were the passenger side. These are pretty bad. And these are the retainer clips. So watch out to this. One is an arrow and one is a bigger size. So don't try to put it uh, in reverse order, then you got a problem. So that's how we put the clips on. Now we're going to press the piston. So we're going to use the tool. As you've seen that we are using the C-clamp. I put old brake pad on the piston side and I'm pressing it. So once we press it in, now we can remove the C-clamp. And as you can see, the pistons are nicely pressed in. Now we're going to put the new brake pads. Before putting the new brake pads, we're going to apply the grease. So as you've seen, we apply the grease and we put the brake pads and the calipers, you've seen it, it's pushed back. And now we're going to put the brake caliper back on top of it. You need to watch out this boot. So make sure that boot don't get uh, pressed in. So just wiggle it and uh, the bolt will go in. So as you've seen it, it was so easy and simple to replace the brake pad yourself. Once we place the caliper back, make sure that it's securely tightened top, bottom, and don't forget to put that bolt back in. That has a hole that goes inside the groove and we're going to place this one in. Once I'm going to tighten it, then this is the sensor. We're going to put it in and that's it and I'll tighten it. Once this one is done, I'll place the tire back and that's how it's easy and simple to change the brake pads yourself. And if this video helped you out in any way, please like, share and subscribe my channel. If you like to eat healthy and delicious food, please check it out Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you. Bye-bye.